When I was 17, I fell in love with traveling. 60 countries later, I realized my greatest souvenirs were the stories I brought back. Later on, when I became a cultural anthropologist, I decided to study a nomadic tribe whose stories I'd come to know very well. Backpackers. What is our impact? And what are the trails we leave behind? Presently it moves from backpacking to backpackaging. I was tired of following the backpacking trail. It was, to a certain extent, a bit of a herd mentality. There had been a German couple who I had met, and this was in 79, and I told them about this beach, this incredible beach, you know, unspoiled, that nobody knew about, and that I would take them there. But, you know, I asked, whatever you do, don't tell people about this place, because, you know, what will happen is backpackers will end up going there. We can turn the camera. <laughs> Why not? You want a bomb? In the early 1990s, I opened a magazine, and the back page was this photograph of Hot Rin Beach, the beach that I had been at, with thousands and thousands of people. Just like unbelievable, it was staggering. <laughs> If somebody had said to me, hey, you know what, the minute you tell somebody, do you realize in 10 years, and 15 years, Hot Rin is going to be the site of the full moon party, there's going to be 10,000 people here, some of them are going to be dying of drug overdoses, there's going to be litter and trash all over this area. Some boon who you stayed with will be marginalized and forced off the land that he lives on. Is this what you want? Cannot make plan again. Maybe other place, huh? In Hatin cannot. It's too late. Too late. I think today's travellers are just crisscrossing the world at greater volume and intensity than ever before, so that the map of our planet now looks like a Jackson Pollock canvas. It previously looked like a great open space. When I was travelling, I started the trip by being under the illusion that I was going to be invisible. I was going to have no impact on where I went, and it was just the place that I visited that would have an impact on me. El mochilero, eh, eh, en todo caso, siempre es el principio, es la educación. Eh, educación de, de, de turismo. No, no, no es que eh, cualquiera pueda venir. Tiene que tener educación de turismo. Eh, consiste, digamos, la, la ecología, eh, el circuito, la ruta, eh, el, la basura, todo ello. After seeing dramatic changes to some of the places I traveled to in the 1980s, I realized that my own footprint played a much greater role than I ever imagined. Backpackers aren't the bad guys. It really boils down to how we travel and what the legacy is of that. We are guests in another culture. So the issue isn't how do we stop travel or stop tourism, the issue is how do we get it right.